All right, it's Free Therapy Wednesday. Each week we like to check in with Dr. Laura Saunders, a child psychologist at the Institute of Living, yeah. for a little mental health. Yeah, so she's here right now. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Saunders. And we have evidence-backed behaviors for a longer, healthier, maybe happier life. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Wednesday. And yes, we are talking about behaviors, things that you can do, concrete, fairly simple things that you can do to lead a longer, happier and healthier life. All right, and these are the research proven. Everybody knows this is gonna be good for us. Research proven. And what I also like to remind people is you don't need to make seven changes at one time. Okay. Pick Start one. with one thing get a little bit of a habit into it, and then move on to something else. So focus on changing one thing at a time. Okay, number one, move your body. And that's not just to look better and lose fat, but this really, I mean, some studies have shown that exercise can be like a natural Prozac. Absolutely. What we know is that our bodies are designed to be moved. They are designed for physical activity. I'm not talking about becoming a, a marathon runner, but moving your body every day, doing something, being active. The more you move your body, the healthier it stays. My trainer says, even if I can get into the gym 10 to 15 minutes a day yeah. and just walk on a treadmill, that is beneficial as opposed to doing nothing. But you can walk outside too, or yeah. walk around the building here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right? We don't have to do it at a gym. Anyway, fruits and veggies, number two. This we're doing right now, that's why we're doing the detox, um, is just getting a little bit more plant-based and we're giving up processed food for a period of time right now. Yeah, so, I mean, it's we all know this, but it's just a reminder. I think it's a really good reminder in these cold, gray, January, winter days. We need some more fruits and we need some more vegetables in our diet. Mm. The more color, the better. And, uh, you know, Kara's big on organic, but I'm thinking anything I can get in my mouth that's a fruit or vegetable. Yeah, you know, this detox, we're supposed to get as organic as possible, but uh, everyone will say, and I think Dr. Saunders, even though she'll say she's not a nutritionist, will agree, eating fruits and veggies of any kind, better than processed food. Better than processed food. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Let's, let's talk about something we all need more of, sleep. Mm. Yeah. So, again, we talk about this all the time, but it's always a reminder and actually, as we age, the better quality sleep that we get and the more sleep that we get, the better. As we get older, we need a solid seven to nine hours of sleep, and that is restorative for our brain. So there's a research showing that sleep is connected to memory and brain health as you get older. Yes, we just had a story on that yesterday where uh, the, the doctor from Yale was talking about the connection to Alzheimer's disease. So Absolutely. we got to sleep. Um, no smoking, you say, and less drinking. Right. So I like to be realistic. <clears throat> no smoking. That's a no brainer because we all know that smoking is bad for you. So no smoking. The realism is even if we can just cut back our alcohol use, it's not realistic that people are necessarily going to not just have a dry January, but a dry year. But if that's the direction you need to go in for better health and do that, but it's about cutting back. So moving, if you're a moderate drinker, moving back to a lighter drinker, cutting back is the direction to go in. But why, why for therapy? Why for our brains? Just so people make that connection. Well, we know, I mean, alcohol is, is toxic in the body. So, you mm. know, as we age, it, it takes longer and longer for our body to recover. It affects our, our liver, it affects our heart, it affects our brain, it affects our energy. You know, it's good to hear that, mm -hmm. that it's not good for our bodies, because the next time you go for a cocktail, you might rethink that. Well, yeah, I mean, there's some research, there's dry bars opening in New York. They're saying that uh, next generation will look at alcohol the way we look at smoking, but yeah, which is interesting. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see. Number five, manage chronic health conditions. So basics, I mean, if you have high blood pressure, if you're uh, having issues, you need to go to the doctor and, and follow some advice. Yes, asthma, high blood pressure, any kind of, you know, early, early onset heart conditions, manage them, take your medication, see your, your, either your primary care doc or your specialist, manage them to the best of your ability so that they don't get out of control and cause more damage. Prioritize relationships. What does that entail? So this is really critical. And people don't realize how isolation and loneliness mm. have a very significant effect, not just on your mental health, but on your physical health as well. 
So we need to prioritize relationships. Some, you know, physicians are saying when you when you're working with an older population, ask them how many people they've seen in a week, because that's probably as indicative of how they're going to be feeling in a month or two months as any other health factor. Yeah, that's yeah. absolutely right. All right. Um, and positive mindset. And that doesn't mean just woo woo, everything's perfect, but trying to reduce that negative self-talk because optimists actually live longer. Yes. Right. So reducing negative self-talk is my mantra for the year, right? That's my 2024. We're all reducing negative self-talk, but at the same time, it's flipping the script a little bit and not being right overly positive. And the world is not always a beautiful place, but it's trying to create a mindset of openness and positivity. I'm something to look forward to, something to good to do for yourself. The more positive you can be, the better it affects your health. All right, we only have 30 seconds, but if you only pick one or two of these, you say choose physical activity and being positive. Yep, and squeeze in some social connections in there as well. All right. Get a walking good. buddy, see? I like it when we walk in Elizabeth Park together, and Absolutely. then you feel good. I'm exhausted by the time we're done. <laughs> it's just a walk. <laughs> Mentally. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Dr. Laura Saunders, we're going to take a deeper dive on all of these habits. I want to really inspire people on Kara's Cures. These are little things that we can do that don't cost anything, make a huge difference. So we'll talk to you a little later on the podcast. Have a great day. All right, you too. You too.